Well, Ryan Crowley has had another massive season for the Fremantle Dockers. He's in line for back-to-back -back best and fairest, but he's got a really big role to play throughout the course of September. And Alistair Lynch puts the spotlight fairly and squarely upon him. We all know getting your matchups right is crucial, and come September that's usually magnified because often it's your last chance. Getting it wrong can be the difference between winning and losing. And quite often, choosing who's going to play on who isn't so simple. But I reckon in this case, both coaches, the players, the fans, pretty much everyone knows that Geelong captain Joel Selwood can expect the competition's number one run with player, Fremantle reigning best and fairest winner Ryan Crowley to be standing about a millimetre away at every stoppage. As you can see, Crowley has a height and weight advantage over the Geelong captain. Both have played over 150 games and both are fiercely competitive as well as highly rated by their coaches and peers. When these sides last met in round 14, Geelong got the chocolates by 41 points, but it was Crowley's game on Joel Selwood that stood out. The three-time Premiership player averages 25 disposals in 2013, yet Crowley held him to just 13 on this night. As you can see by this vision, Crowley has this ability to get inside his opponent's head, something he's done for most of his career. And come Saturday, it's up to Joel Selwood with some help from his teammates to overcome and defeat the human glove. No doubt about that, Lynchy. He is as valuable as any of the big-name players at the Fremantle Dockers, Ryan Crowley. Uh, I guarantee you that. And, King, if you have a look at the players that he's blanketed this year, yep. this is about as impressive as it gets. We're talking about the prime midfielders in the competition. Only one of them, Scotty Pendlebury, has gotten to 20 possessions. And look at some of the numbers. He is incredibly effective. And we spoke about uh, Brent Harvey off-air saying that was when it all got highlighted yep. publicly. But nothing's changed since. He's no. still able to do it. He's all Australian, isn't he? he? In my opinion, he has to be an all Australian this year. With that sort of performance against the biggest names in the comp, but those players will be all Australian that he's clamped. Most of them, so, yeah. I mean, by... well, it is, it's an interesting debate. I mean, do you have a run with player in the all Australian side? Is that a, an important part of a, a, a successful team these days? Well, I, I think it definitely is. And I, it gets back to the age old debate do we pick the all Australian team made up of the best players and put them all together, or do we pick a team that's mm. actually going out to play an opposition? Because the bottom line is if you pick the best players, you don't need to take it. Because <laughs> no, you're going to beat right. everybody that yeah. you play against, aren't you? Well, but I guarantee you, if you play against any <laughs> side, there's someone in the opposition that you want to stop in the midfield. Yeah. So to have that player that, that Ryan Crowley is, that Ross Lyon mm. can just rely on to go to the opposition's best yeah. mid, is invaluable. Now, obviously, I mean. Well, I is... can't tell you. Um, words come through that the squad's been announced. Oh, OK. Oh. And Ryan Crowley's not in it. He's not in it? Not, not in, it. in the 40. Well, I would have thought he'd have to be in the 40. The He's recognition not in of the a, squad. Amazing, so they've obviously amazing taken season. the tack that we're picking the best players and not stoppers. And not, not in the 40. It's hard to say he's not in the best players. That's mm. outrageous. Well, he's, yeah. he'd be one of the first picked mm. at the Freeman. I mean, obviously, the likes of Harvey and Selwood and these guys have a really tough task when they've got this bloke you know, hugging them and the water scan behind them for the whole day. How can they get assistance from their teammates? I mean, you ran with some of the best players in the competition. Mm. What were the things that really got under your skin to protect the um, gun midfielder? Oh, I think you, the, the Tigers' focus is solely on, on stopping, you know, the player he's playing on. So, I mean, you, it's very difficult for that player to get off the tagger by himself. So yeah. he, ne he needs support from his teammates. So, you know, I think that the, the more you can work for him to block, but then again, I mean, you've got to make sure that, that if you're being tagged, you can still play a role for your team. And I think that's the important thing. I mean, even if Brent Harvey in our case, he didn't have a big day numbers wise, but we were able to get him to play another role that took Crowley to another position because we could dictate Crowley's starting point. So yep. I think that's the other thing to look at. It's not just Crowley's going to do his job you know, the best of his ability, but can you get an advantage somewhere else by putting Crowley where he doesn't want to be? Mm -hmm. yeah.